Okay, so you're ready? Yeah, I am Samir Asak Sarji from Bangladesh. Thank you so much for that, Samir. So I'm calling you today to conduct your credibility interview. Can you hear me clearly? Yeah, I can hear you clearly. Correct. I request you to look in front of the camera throughout your complete interview, which is mandatory as this call has to get recorded. Okay. If you do not understand any questions or if you face any technical issues, let us know. We will help you with it. Yeah, sir, definitely. Okay. So today we are going to talk about your immigration history, your education history, financial circumstances, post-to-date studies, future plans, etc. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, to start with, may I know which course and which university have you applied for? Actually, I am applied in Demonfort University. My course is Applied Computer Computing in Integrated International Integrated Program, Incorporated Program. Okay. So, you applied for... Uh, sorry, which university have you applied? I have applied in Demonfort University in... Applied computing. Applied computing. Okay, great. So, Samir, have you visited UK or any international countries in the past as a student or as a visitor? No, I never gone to UK in my entire life. Okay. So, do you have any visa refusals by any chance for any international countries? No, I do not have any visa refusal or something like that. Okay. So, are you single or are you married? Yeah, I'm single. Can you show me the first page of your passport in front of the camera, please? Yeah, definitely. Just move the passport a little upward. Yeah. Uh, could you just bring it a little closer uh, to the camera, please? Okay. And can you confirm your date of birth on it? Yeah. It's 31st of 2000. 31st December 2000. Okay. Thank you. So could you help me with your previous qualification which you have completed successfully? Yeah, I have already completed my uh, ACC which is uh, you know, higher secondary education uh, uh, in 2018 um, and I have some similar subject that I have taken in this, um, in this qualification. For example, I have uh, taken like uh, mathematics, uh, physics and uh, um, uh, yeah, chemistry as well as uh, information technology. I mean, this is called ICT, which is uh, actually pretty much related with my with computer science. For example, mm, in that course, I have to uh, take some lab test, uh, which is based on computers, and I have also learned a um, little bit of programming knowledge, basically, basically uh, like um, uh, Java and CC program. Okay. So, uh, the last qualification which you have completed, uh, was that HSC or was that your diploma? No, it is ACC, Higher Secondary Education. Okay. So, in which year have you completed your HSC program? Um, I have completed my ACC program in 2018. 18, okay. And what were you doing after that? Um, uh, to be honest with you, I have uh, admitted in a private university in architecture department, but I didn't uh, actually uh, think that it was uh, very competent or it was very uh, much, uh, you know, uh, favor on me. That's why I actually gave up, uh, I actually dropped it out from university and I think that I will go for uh, computer science because uh, computer science will be better for me to be a graduate in this sector. Okay, so why have you selected this specific course, uh, Applied Computing, for your further studies? Well, 
<laughs> I have I'm in my country there is a lot of problem regarding computer science for example in 2015 um, we have a, a, a billion dollar haste in my country's central bank they actually uh, you know uh, ro robbed our bank account our uh, economy uh, our account bank uh, a magnificent amount of money from central bank of bangladesh and uh, that was a very devastating impact on our uh, society uh, on our country For, uh, in particular the country who, uh, who is have a uh, a magnificent amount of people they are living in a below the poverty line so that's why um, the the you know uh, cyber crime that happened it in my country that actually inspired me to be a uh, graduate in this sector for uh, in this computer particularly computer sector cause uh, um, it has a uh, many problem uh, in my country so i would like to desperately uh, fix all the problems regarding computer science and uh, be a great computer uh, scientist uh, be a big great computer engineer in future okay so what skills and what knowledge will this course provide you with for your future well, from this course, I will be able to learn uh, Java programming, computer ethics, and computer uh, mm, some other courses related to computer. For example, um, mm, uh, uh, database management and uh, um, networking issues and ethical uh, hacking, some other things that will help me to be become a, a great engineer in computer. So what are the job opportunities for you in your hometown once you complete this course from UK? Well, there is a plenty of uh, job opportunity available in my not only my country, all over the world. You know, um, uh, computer science is a demanding subject uh, right now and uh, less or more uh, a magnificent amount of students, they are doing bachelors in these sectors and uh, they are getting into um, some multinational companies like uh, the Microsoft, Microsoft uh, Facebook and Google also hire a lot of students. And in terms of my country, there are also a plenty of opportunity, a plenty of jobs available. For example, our country has uh, some uh, government job uh, who is actually very much, uh, you know, um, uh, very much, hell, uh, hell, uh, very much uh, high demanding salary they provide. So that's kind of job I'd like to get in, in future. Okay, so uh, why have you decided to study in UK and not in your hometown? Well, UK has three years bachelor program all over the world which you cannot find anywhere in the world. So that actually makes me, you know, uh, makes my decision to go for UK. And also the UK is a uh, welcoming for international students and there is a less problem like um, racism or something like that so that's why um, i actually choose the uk the m the main fact is three years bachelor program so what is the difference in the education pattern between uh, your hometown and uk well, in my hometown, um, there is a lot of course which is like backdated and they did not update those course uh, like the international, in, in internationally. And uh, that's actually the main difference from, um, uh, main difference uh, between the course in UK and my country. Okay. So which other international countries did you research uh, for your further studies and what made you select UK about them? Well, um, uh, UK actually, um, uh, I know, um, I mean, uh, um, I also uh, researched about the Canada and United States, but I think that uh, UK uh, as they are uh, giving, uh, as they are, uh, you know, has a three years bachelor program so after my graduation from uk i i would definitely go for uh, usa or canada to pursue my uh, master's programs and uh, that will be very uh, helpful uh, towards my career future career okay so uh 
which countries did you research uh, for your further studies well as i mentioned before i think united states and canada will be better for my further further education Yeah. And uh, and what were the comparisons you came across during your research uh, to select UK above them? Um, <clears throat> uh, could you please repeat the questions? Yes. Uh, what comparison have you made between uh, these countries to uh, select uh, UK well, for the? Uh, well, uh, UK actually they actually very much welcoming for international students and. Uh, a magnificent amount of students from um, Asian countries they actually choose to go to uh, UK United Kingdom for their bachelor's programs and uh, once they graduate bachelor from UK they actually uh, simply some people they come back their own country to uh, you know um, uh, fix the problem um, in, in that country and uh, serve the people of their own nationalities So on the other hand some people choose to um, go for uh, United States Canada and some uh, European country to pursue their um, master programs so i actually choose united kingdom um, because uh, one of my friend lived in there and he also told me that um, there is a plenty of opportunity in uk uh, regarding the course you are applying for for bachelor's as well as master programs So, uh, which universities have you researched uh, in UK for your further studies, and what comparison made you select De Montfort above them? Well, I have uh, researched about similar universities, uh, namely such as namely um, Greenwich University and uh, um, some other university like uh, uh, University of uh, Bedfordshire, but. Uh, in the january session the demon fort uh, uh, on the only on in university they actually offer uh, computing computer science in the january session program 2022 so that's why i chose demon fort university another thing is uh, demon fort university have a plenty of uh, opportunity for example if the student of demon fort university has the international recognized certificate international recognized uh, like uh, international recognized things that they can um, uh, compete uh, around all around the world during their uh, education in demon fort university and another thing is uh, they also provide a large um, laboratory who is actually contains uh, Uh, more than 100 uh, computers in in their laboratory lab in the lab okay so what other facilities does the monfort provides you with well um, in terms um, considering other facilities in the monfort university they also provide uh, magnificent uh, uh, course pad and modules and uh, they are very much welcoming for international students and uh, they have some uh, uh kid uh, they have uh, there is a lot of student who are actually um, working with uh, google and microsoft engineering and they actually graduated from demarfoot university and that's the thing that inspire me most in order to um, get a highly reputed job so um, the, i think uh, demarfoot university will be very much competent towards my future education okay great So could you just name the modules you will be learning in this course summer? Yeah. <clears throat> For the first year of applied computing uh, I will be able to learn um, like uh, data management and data management and uh, reporting and uh, information uh, sect uh, information um, management information management and uh, like uh, I'll be able to I have they also give me some Uh, adjunct course like um, uh, 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 English for academic purpose. This kind of things they also uh, they actually provide me uh, for the first uh, for the for the first year of my program. Okay, so uh, could you just explain any one of the module, please? Um, yeah, uh, uh, the um, 
database management and reporting uh, is uh, is actually based on uh, collecting data uh, which will be uh, helpful for uh, getting in new information from the internet and uh, it also helpful for the um, uh, for the uh, student who are actually highly aiming for uh, their future careers for example if you wanna um, uh, for example if you wanna get a, a, a proper uh, you know information about internet or someone if a hacks uh, if someone hacks uh, hack on your computer so you'll be able to recognize them by knowing the information uh, systems of database management and some other thing that will really help uh, will be helpful in in the future So once you complete this course, what are your future plans? Well, um, after completing my course, uh, I will come back my country and serve the peoples uh, my of my country. As uh, you know, I have mentioned before that I have a, a, we a, a, in a country Bangladesh uh, where every sector in computer science has a lot um, less or more problem regarding this computer science. Um, some, uh, for example, in uh, basic, uh, for example, in particular, the cyber uh, security of my country is actually not um, very much, uh, you know, strong. That's why I would like to fix the sector uh, in the sector of this by applying my well knowledge and my, um, you know, experience uh, to uh, in the UK. So, what would be your designated post you would like to uh, you would like to work as once you complete this course? Um, sorry, could you repeat that question? Yep. What would be your designated post uh, you would like to work as once you complete this course? Well, I guess um, I mean uh, I think um, the computer science engineering co uh, computer engineer. After completing my course, uh, my designation will be a great computer. I mean, computer engineer. Okay. And what would be your responsibilities as for your post? Yeah, uh, my responsibility will be um, uh, that um, I have to be a dedicated person towards my uh, towards my uh, during my study. And uh, I have to be um, careful and time maintaining. And um, I, as I have a, a great desire to be a great computer engineer, so I have to be, um, uh, you know, I have to co gather a well knowledge um, when uh, well knowledge during the time of my study. And uh, I, I, that's it. So what would be your expected salary then? Mm, um, <laughs> I didn't think about that. Anyway, so I actually expect like um, um, when if I come to my country, so uh, I actually expect like um, monthly on 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 a thousand pound will be in my country's perspective uh, very much uh, um, competent with me. So in terms of other countries like multi, if I got a job in multinational companies, uh, I would expect like um, three or four thousand um, pounds in, in month, in one month, monthly. Okay. And where have you got this information from? Uh, Who is kind of information? Uh, the the information about the uh, the salary package. Uh, actually, to be honest with you, I didn't research about that, but uh, this salary will be uh, perfect for me, I think. Okay. So, do you know where your university is located and where you will be staying in UK? Yeah, um, my university is located in Leicester and uh, it is a great city and vibrant culture for the international student. And uh, I will stay near my university campus. So, are you aware about your overall living expense in UK and your tuition fees? Yeah, I am actually aware about that. Uh, could you please help me with the amounts? Yeah, um, 
working uh, in in UK I have to uh, my tuition fee will be per year uh, which is uh, around uh, 14000 or uh, 14145 um, uh, pounds and um, uh, considering this in Bangladeshi taka it will be like uh, 15 lakhs or something like that and my uh, living expense will be on thousand uh, pounds per month okay so who's gonna sponsor you for your further studies well my parents gonna sponsor me during my study So what does uh, your parents are gonna uh, both uh, parents are gonna yeah both my you, father and mother will sponsor and mother. Okay. study. So what what do they do and what is their annual income all about? Yeah, my father is a businessman and my mother is a housewife, but uh, we have uh, mm, uh, uh, lots of house uh, name. Uh, we have a lots of house, uh, which is uh, uh, actually. Uh, named by my um, which is actually belongs to my mom and uh, he manages all of those and my uh, my father's uh, yearly salary uh, actually I can tell you the monthly salary of my uh, monthly income of my father it is uh, like uh, um, uh, 5,000 pounds my father earn in month it's going to be taking it in year it's actually uh, um, uh, Sixteen thousand pounds. And how much is that in your local currency? Um, considering it on my local currency, it uh, would be like uh, around uh, uh, fifty. Uh, yeah, uh, fifty thousand. Uh, fifty. Uh, fifty thousand lakhs. So when required, would you be able to provide us with the financial documents of your father? Yeah, obviously. Okay. So do you have any relatives or friends in UK? Yeah, I have a um, lot of friends uh, who are staying in UK. Like uh, one of my friend, best friend is uh, studying in University of Shelford right now. And uh, I have an uh, uncle who lives in uh, Sheffield, Holland, in, in Sheffield. Okay. So once you arrive at the airport, if you have been asked to quarantine, how would you manage to do that? Well, um, uh, nowadays, uh, every student who are uh, international student have to quarantine for 10 days. So I will uh, book a room and uh, accommodation as my accommodation and I will stay there for 10 days. Okay. So do you know when, you, uh, when your course start date is? Yeah, uh, my course uh, will be start on uh, 10th of January, 14th of January, 14th, 10th of January. So given you an opportunity to settle in UK with your preferred designated post, would you like to grab that opportunity? Um, uh, to be honest with you, everyone will uh, take this opportunity. But my country, first of all, as a nationality, I have to fix the problem of my country at first. Then I will be able to uh, serve another nationalities. So I think uh, my country will be the most priority in terms of my uh, uh, helping or serving my nationalities. Okay. So with this, we have come to an end of the interview. Thank you so much for the answers and the information provided today. Yeah. But the feedback will be shared with your agent by the end of the day today. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you for your time and uh, all the best for your future. Take care. You're Bye. welcome.